Yo, it's Adam for Textboy91 here, and yesterday in my level up video, if you guys haven't checked it out, where I go over all of the cards you get in each level up pack, such as these ones, so you can see if it's worth your purchase and give you updates. This year, they did a much better job because it actually tells you what comes in every single pack, as opposed to last year, you just had to buy it and guess, so not going to be as annoying. But this year, we got a new thing called Training Power Up Pass Pack. And I wanted to go over it yesterday, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So I went ahead and got another one. Uh, you get one of these at level 27, which I think is this one right here. And you get this one at level 33. So that's the reason why I wanted to wait. So I wanted to get both of them. I wanted to see exactly what they were. At first, I thought that these Power Up Pass Packs were random. You get between a certain overall. But that's not the case. This one gives you a power up pass pack for an 80 to 82 overall as it states by this mutt tip and then the other one gives you a power up pass for an 83 to 85 overall so it looks like when you level up you're going to be getting power i think you get a total of maybe two or three more and my guess it goes from an 86 to an 88 and then from an 89 to a 91. so it looks like you'll be able to power up some top tier players later down the line so for those that are interested in power up like a ramsey or some legends just hold off on it right now because we'll get more of these for leveling up in the future which is cool and now for those that don't have any idea what i'm talking about these power up passes basically take the place of any elite. It's, base, it's essentially a wild card. It's a wild card for any elite of that overall. So if I wanted to power up a guy like Telvin Smith, I like Telvin Smith, that linebacker, one of the better cards in this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars, baby. And so we got Telvin Smith right here. We also have a 68, which is sitting down here. I would have to upgrade this card all the way to a what right here 83 and then i would have to go buy his basically which is an 85 but what that power up pass ends up doing is taking place of that 85 and you can power them up i'll go ahead and quick sell my training points for you guys i've been kind of holding on i wanted to see exactly how many you get uh for just going through the level up and playing the solos but as of right now i think this is going to be a better example how to power up players and use a power up pass so let's go ahead and show you that right now let's go ahead and quick sell my training i think i might have just enough i think i might have just enough to get telvin so let's go ahead and quick sell all that for 515 and let's go back to the 68 overall telvin smith of the jacksonville jaguars let's go ahead and do that right here bam upgrade and we're gonna go ahead and buy this right here except go ahead and get the skin chemistry which you can just go all the way down here and just purchase upgrade but you gotta go in order doesn't make much sense uh i wish it was a little bit streamlined but i get it what it is also hopefully in the future ea can put the amount it takes to power to a certain level in the game i know mudhead has it but i don't feel like going to mudhead to count it up there so tier seven and so right here we spent not that many training points and we got telvin up to an 83 and then so i go ahead and do this select from binder and what pops up the power up pass which is pretty cool so I go ahead and add this guy into my team, right, bam, we got that. And then now we can go ahead and power up to his 88, which is gonna take 775 trading points, which I don't got right now. Now, the cool thing about power up pass is, if you get Telvin Smith down the line that, it's only gonna cost you a thousand coins to downgrade back down and receive the 83, 85 overall pass back. So let's say we get Telvin Smith in the future out of a gauntlet reward pack and you wanna save your, get your power up pass back, you can go ahead and refund it which is great these cards i thought just disappeared into the ether they never came back but no that's not the case you can basically downgrade and get this pass back and put the player back in the set if he's not on your team these things are cool as hell and it's gonna allow you to power up your favorite players without having to buy the elite player which i absolutely enjoy so this year they thought of the power up system a lot more than last year last year it was basically a con this year uh, the con they got right like <laughs> it's kind of annoying having to power up players to get certain chemistries and put on all the other stuff but i absolutely adore what they did with this this year so i guess i'll end up finishing powering up all the way post down in the comment section below which player are you going to use in your power up pass i think i may make a video of the best 80 to 82 of our players to use your power up pass on and then go from the 83 to 85 and then the 86 to 88 which probably is going to be then the 89 to 90 once i get those but until that day comes man that is dope that is exactly how you use the power up pass and that's also how you power up players now also to mention your player if he has chemistry on him you can't power him up so if i wanted to power up this telvin smith i would have to 
take off the Jags chemistry to power him up. Because it's going to say, oh, you can't do that because the chemistries are on him. You have to take the chemistries off and then re-equip it once you finish maxing him out. That's a little bit of a glitch everybody's running into. Hopefully they fix it because you should be able to power a player with the chemistries already on as opposed to taking it off. Because it doesn't make much sense. That's the thing. But, hey, it's not a perfect system right now. And hopefully they improve it throughout the year since now they have the technology to do so. But, yeah, that is how you guys go about powering up and using the power up pass. It's a pretty cool thing. And I'm glad EA incorporated it. Hopefully, we can see more of those pop out of packs, though. Like, imagine pulling a pro pack and you get a power-up pass. I think that's a really good value, especially if it takes place of a silver card or maybe a gold card. And hopefully, start seeing more 89s pop out because that could dictate what you do with your team. But, yeah, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed Leave a like. Share the video with your friends so you know exactly how to do it. Or just, just, just make sure the information gets out there because... I want everybody to power up players this year because when they power up players, that brings value to 68 overalls that we pull out of packs, which then makes packs valuable. So let's keep the cycle going. It's me, your boy Texas, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Look, they say money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down pay. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now nah, you don't play a pound cake. Cake, cake, cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.